two-handed forehands. Teaching two-handed forehands for, for little kids. With a right-hander, you're going to keep your right hand on the bottom for the volley. You're going to keep the right hand on the bottom for the backhand volley. Right hand's on the bottom for the backhand ground stroke. Right hand's on the bottom for the overhead. The right hand on, is on the bottom for the serve. So when you're in the ready position, you wait with the right hand on the bottom. And then when you turn, you switch hands for the forehand. The only time the right hand is on the top on a two-handed shot developmentally is when you hit a forehand. Now, some of the greatest players in the history of the game have had cross-handed forehands. But developmentally, why, why, why would you teach a young player to switch hands? Because when a young player plays two-handed, now they have the strength to hold the racket up higher. Also, now with the racket in position, they can have the downswing that creates the upswing. So they're going to have a shorter backswing. Most little kids have such a gigantic backswing. The other thing, besides holding your racket up high and having it sync with the body, is now a young player with the right hand can use a conventional grip. So, so many young kids playing and trying to copy the pros, they'll have a very extreme grip and the racket way behind their back. So now by hitting two-handed from the beginning, from the get-go, now they're in this position. I just think of all these young kids copying Nadal and say, well, I'm copying Nadal's forehand. Nadal hit a two-handed forehand until he was almost 12. From the very beginning, when you teach someone to hit a two-handed forehand, say, for example, we're doing static, static balance training, we're having someone hit off a cone. From day one, we teach a young player to hit one-handed. But when they play, we say, okay, now hit a two-handed forehand. So early childhood development, and when does someone change from a two-handed forehand back to a one-handed forehand? That depends on the individual. But what's so important is the change is easy, because now they don't have to change the grip, they don't have to change the shape of their swing. It has to depend on their, their size, their work ethic, their personality, so many things. But it's very, very important to introduce young players, small players, to a two-handed forehand.